welcome once again to my channel if you have been here and if you have not welcome how are you doing so today I wanted to do this look with some copper glitter and I had been wanting to do something with copper glitter for months I think and I just could never find the right color of glitter so today this is what I did this is what I came up with I also paired it with um, some like emerald green in the lower lash line I don't know if it shows up on camera that it's actually a green shadow but it looks so beautiful i'm so glad i did this and i love how this look turned out so if you want to see how i did this look just keep on watching and don't forget to like and subscribe if you enjoyed this video thank you so much for watching bye so i already primed my eyes with my mac paint pot in the color painterly and i also set that primer with the color beaches and cream from makeup geek and i'm just applying chickadee all over my crease I'm also taking Chiquiti all the way into my inner and outer corners because today I'm going for a halo effect. So now I'm taking the color Coco Bear and I'm just applying that all over my crease to start creating that gradient effect. And I'm taking the color Bada Bing, which is a dark brown with a little bit of gold shimmer. And I'm applying that all over my lower crease, so right below Coco Bear. And this color goes really, really well with the copper glitter that I will be applying later because of the gold shimmer. And now I'm just going back and applying a little bit more of Coco Bear to blend out the rough edges. And now I'm taking the color Cosmopolitan from Makeup Geek and I'm just applying that all over my lid and seriously this shade is the prettiest thing I've ever seen. I have been obsessed with it. If you saw my No Mirror Makeup Challenge, I used it there and that was pretty much the inspiration for this look was what I tried to do in that video. But I couldn't just do the same thing so I had to just take it up a notch and do something a little bit more glamorous so I am applying some glitter today. And honestly, this glitter was a little hard to work with. So what I had to do was, instead of the usual things that I do, which is just to dip the brush in glue and then glitter, today I had to use two different brushes and dip the first one in glue, apply the glue to my lid, and then bring in the glitter. And it was just a little hard to work with, but I mean, I made it work at the end, and it is a very pretty glitter. So as you can see, I just keep going back and forth between the glue and the glitter, and that's how I made it work. So I did fill in my brows before I started filming and then once I was done applying the glitter I did do most of my face because you have probably seen that so many times already but now that I magically have some lashes on we are going to finish off the eyes so now I'm applying Cocoa Bear on my lower lash line to kind of tie up the whole eye makeup look and I'm basically just smudging that out with a thin pencil brush. Now I'm taking a very very thin brush and I'm taking the color Envy and applying that right on my lash line and it is such a beautiful color and it goes so well with the copper glitter and you can't really see it that much but here's a little close up so you can see how pretty it looks and what the difference is between the two eyes. So as you can see MV is a very deep metallic green and I do wish it was a little bit brighter and more on the emerald side just because that will show up better on camera but I promise you in person this looked so beautiful. And you already know I'm blending out the edges of the green with the same brush that I used with Coco Bear. Now I'm taking the color Cosmopolitan and I'm applying that right into my inner corners. I have been enjoying doing this lately because I do have small eyelids so when my eyes are open you can always see the color that's on my lids so this gives me a chance to just show up that color. And to finish off the eyes, I'm just applying Beaches and Cream on my brow bone to make my brows appear more lifted. And I'm also applying my It Cosmetics Tightline Mascara on my lower lashes. And if you saw my April favorites, you probably guessed it, but I am wearing my Ardell Double Waist Piece today. And 
and add to finish off the face. Today I'm using my NYX Contour Palette and I'm using the color Toffee to bronze up my face a little bit and I am really really liking this palette. And I'm applying this blush from Tarte in the color Bashful and this is from a holiday collection so it's no longer available but anything that's like a peachy blush will do. And then I'm applying my Milani Luminoso just because I wanted the blush to be a little more luminous I guess. <laughs> And to finish off this look, I'm just applying my Offer Cosmetics liquid lipstick in the color Miami Fever, which is kind of orange, kind of nude. And I was a little scared that it would be too much, but honestly, I think it looks perfect. It is kind of bold, so if you want to tone it down, you can just go ahead and wear nude lipstick. So that's it for this video that brings us to the end of this look if you enjoyed this video make sure to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos I feel like every week I get a little more out there and more bold and I am enjoying it and I hope you are too thank you so much for watching